One thing I love is when people close to Donald Trump, whether they're close now or have been at a certain point, go at him, attack him and criticize him because those people know better than any of us just how awful, just how monstrous, just how selfish and cruel Donald Trump can be because we have to get it second or third hand. People that worked with him, they get it undiluted. And in the following clip, you're going to see a Trump lawyer come out and say what we've been saying, that he is a selfish, cruel idiot. This state, Michael, has run out of ICU capacity. Coronavirus cases are surging. And yet Donald Trump is still holding his rally. And do you think he has any concern whatsoever about this? I mean, what does it say to you about him? And has he forgotten he survived a very serious case of COVID? Actually, not one, but two. But what it says to me about Donald Trump and what it should say to every American out there is that it's irresponsible, it's ignorant, and worse than that, it's immoral. First of all, the country is seeing right now a very significant spike in the coronavirus. And I believe, as you just stated, that Alabama is now somewhere around 50% increase, that there's a shortage of ICU beds. And he thinks now is the time to host a money grifting super spreader rally. I mean, what's going on in this man's mind? Nobody knows. Only Donald Trump knows. And Honestly, none of us want to be in his head. And here's the answer. It's because he doesn't care about anyone or anything, even the few supporters that he still has remaining. So like I said, it's just completely irresponsible. It's completely ignorant and it's completely immoral. That's fantastic, isn't it? That's Michael Cohen. We've talked about him now and then on the channel. He was a top Trump lawyer, Trump's fixer, basically the guy that helped Trump bury the bodies and went to jail for Trump. So if there's a guy that knows Trump and knows the dirty underbelly of the Trump world, it's Michael Cohen. And what he's talking about is the rally we talked about over the weekend. And I want to bring this up because I'm hearing the narrative shift a little bit. Before the rally, we covered the fact that Trump was bringing 20,000 people into a part of Alabama that was struggling with COVID, that didn't have the vaccination levels and all those sorts of things to handle this kind of event. And that Trump was, in a sense, willingly, knowingly committing a form of social murder. Right. And because and, he doesn't care. And that's what Michael Cohen said. Now, during that rally, and we covered this as well, Donald Trump said, you know, get the vaccine. He told people in the crowd to take care of themselves and get the shot. And what we saw is he got booed. And there's been a lot of coverage on that. But some of that coverage, not all of it, but some of it is almost praising Trump, like giving him a round of applause for, for daring to suggest what every reasonable politician, including if Republicans have been saying since, you know, December, January, since it's become available to the public, which is get it. And Trump is getting applauded for doing that now. But let's be really clear. One he didn't actually say to get it fully. He sort of hedged his bet when his crowd booed him, saying, oh, but you have to respect your own freedoms and you have to protect your freedoms, which is a dog whistle to the crowd saying, I'm telling you this, but I don't really mean it. And furthermore, what this shows is that Donald Trump just understands optics. He understands optics. He doesn't actually give a damn about his own people. Because let's be clear. Donald Trump is right to say, get the shot, but he could have said it months earlier, much more emphatically. And if he's really, truly concerned about his supporters, he wouldn't have held that rally in the first place. That rally being in rural Alabama, where there's no ICU beds left, where everyone's suffering, was deeply irresponsible. It basically is murder in my view. And Donald Trump is trying to hedge his bets now, saying, oh, get the vaccine. He doesn't give a damn about his people. Again, I've said it before. Donald Trump would rather his supporters die than lose one night of getting some applause.